I've been using After Effects for a long time now, and I've got to say I always dreamed that a special feature would come out. The ability to do node compositing and to combine all your visual elements using a graph. I've been waiting for 10 years, but it never came out. So I created Magic Nodes, an extension for After Effects to allow node-based and layer-based compositing within the same application. Let me show you how it works. So here I have an empty project in After Effects. To launch the extension, just go to Extension and click on Magic Nodes. As soon as you launch it, it will open a new window in which you will be able to edit your node graph, and it will also create two viewers. I will explain these two viewers in a minute. The user interface is straightforward. Here you've got options to import footage from your project panel or to create a solid, a merge node or an effects node. And here you've got your project settings. By default, it is set to an HD resolution and 24 frames per second, but I will set it to an anamorphic widescreen resolution for this project. Okay, so I will import my sequence, which is a space shuttle launch scene. This EXR sequence contains multiple passes, such as reflection pass, specular pass, alpha pass, etc., which needs to be composited together. So I will import it into my graph, and this will create a node. When you hover a node, you get multiple options. You can edit the properties of the node, like its name, for example. For nodes like solid, you can also edit the size of the solid and make it independent from the project settings. Here you can go to the corresponding layer in After Effects. You can also do the same thing by double-clicking on the node. And you can also duplicate the node or delete the node. Okay, so I have my footage here which contains multiple passes. I will extract the pass I want using the extractor effect. Rename the node to beauty and then I will repeat the same process for the specular pass and the alpha pass. Like Nuke or Fusion, you can preview the result of your compositing at any point of the graph. And this is done using this little button right here. When you get a large graph, it is very handy because you can easily switch between the nodes to preview the result of your compositing. Also, the main benefit is that you can edit one node while previewing your final compositing results at the same time. And this is why you have two viewers. Now, to merge these two nodes, it is very easy. You simply need to create a merge node. A merge node has three inputs. You've got one input for your foreground, which is for the element you want to be placed on top, one for your background, which is the element you want to be placed behind, and one for a track mat. So I want to merge my beauty pass with my specular pass to increase a bit more the realism of my shot. I will enable this so I can preview the result. So here you have your blending modes, and to increase your productivity, you can preview the result of the merge just by hovering this eye icon. Now, I want to remove this background to replace it with another one. I've already got my alpha map, so I just need to link it to the track mat input of my merge node, and then select the mode I want. Again, I can use the eye icon to quickly preview the result. One thing very handy is that you can retract the merge node to enhance the graph presentation and clarity. Let's add my background to the graph and blend it together using another merge node. Now I can go to the corresponding layer and adjust the position and scale of my background. Alright, now one thing very important in node compositing is the concept of reusability. You can reuse the nodes for other purposes. You can create multiple connections out of each node and have a lot of flexibility in your compositing. For example, if I want to add a simple chromatic aberration effect, I would need two copies of my actual shot. So here, for example, I can create a new merge node and connect this node on both the foreground and the background. 
nothing changed in the viewer because we did not apply any effects. So to apply effects, you have two possibilities. You can either go to the corresponding layer and apply the effect as you always do in After Effects. The problem is that if you reuse the node multiple times, like in this situation, this effect will be present in all of your output connections. Or you can create an FX node. The main benefit is that you will be applying the effect only for this output connection. In our case, we want to split the color channels. So I apply a set channel effect on this node and disable the red channel. And here you want to apply another set channel but disabling the blue and green channels. Next, simply set the blending mode to screen and you get back our original shot. To get the chromatic aberration effect, we just need to adjust the position of the top layer. So I can do this simply by going to the corresponding After Effects layer. Now one thing very cool when doing node compositing is that you can visually reorganize your graph as you want. It's like cleaning your room to get a better overview of how your elements are blended together. Finally, I can add some glow to my shot. I will call this node Glow and then add all the effects needed to create the glow I want inside of this node. I can also add some dirt on the camera by merging my shot with a dirt image. So let's import my dirt image into the graph, connect it to a merge node and select the screen blending mode. Then I just need to go to the corresponding layer and adjust its opacity to make it more subtle. And finally, add some vignetting by creating a solid and merging it with the color burning blending mode. So working with a node graph is a very flexible way to do compositing. For example, I can say, hey, I'm not really satisfied with my result here. I want to try adding some motion blur and some color correction. So I can preview my result at the same time as my previous compositing and I can compare both. If I'm finally satisfied, I can link into my previous nodes to complete the process. So with this tool, you can finally do node compositing in After Effects, which will improve your workflow and provide better clarity of all the elements composited in your shot. We finally get software in which we can do both node-based and layer-based compositing. I hope you like this tutorial guys for this upcoming extension, I'm very excited and I can't wait to release it, so I see you very soon.